Good morning, everybody. Gabriel and I are headed to the pediatrician's office. from the pediatrician Gabriel has rosella it's a virus that has a rash he's fine fell asleep in the car on the way home now it's lunchtime <laughs> you're a happy boy yeah. You can take a nap for me after this? Uh -oh. Gabriel's asleep, um, napping. He took a four and a half hour nap yesterday, which is awesome, and he needed it because he was fighting that virus. Um, so he also slept through the night, you know, mostly he woke up a couple of times, but got himself back to sleep, which is something that Sarah and I desperately needed him to do. So he's down for another nap. I'm going to have my lunch. Hopefully he sleeps for a good long time, probably not four hours, four and a half hours, because I have a couple of errands to run and one of which is picking up Sarah from work. So he sleeps for four and a half hours. She's working late because I'm not going to wake him up. I'm going to let him sleep as long as he wants to. So, sorry baby, if you're, uh, if you're still at work at 5.30, it's Gabriel's fault. Two hours, 21 minutes, perfect. Gabriel's awake, obviously, having a snack, and we're on our way to run a couple errands and then pick up Mommy. Mommy. Okay. First chore is we're gonna pull in Aunt Vicky's garbage can. I know, it's kinda random. She's out of town. So we're gonna do that for her real quick. They left it out so it get picked up. So we're doing that. Well, we got here hoping that uh, we could do this chore, but the trash hasn't run yet. Actually, I just saw the truck drive by and so we pulled in the parking lot, I mean parking lot, into the driveway and it kind of waited, hope, hoping that they would make the block in what I consider a logical route, um, but they don't. They drove down the side, picked it all up, and now they've driven back to the beginning of the neighborhood and now they're doing back and forth. I kind of thought they would go down, around, and zigzag their way back out of the neighborhood, but nope, they're driving down the sides of it. And then they're going to do down through the cross streets. And we're at the very back cross street, so they probably won't be down here for like an hour because it's also the slowest garbage truck ever. Um, I'm just griping at this point. So we're going to scrap this chore. It's time to go pick up Sarah. And then I guess I'll come back and do this later on this evening. Okay, I've got a first world problem for you guys. You know when you're driving down the road and the radio station is playing all the songs you want to hear? Like, or at least you, this station has a song. When that song's over, you hit the next one and the next station is playing a song you want to hear and so everything is just going your way. Um, so imagine that, but you're using the GPS and uh, driving through neighborhoods is the worst because every like 10 seconds they tell you a new direction or they give you new instructions or remind you to do something. Um, so... You're listening to every song you want to hear on a 30 minute commute to pick up your wife and 15 to 20 seconds, every 15 to 20 seconds, the annoying GPS voice cuts in and says, in 1000 feet, stay to the left, stay to the left. In a mile and a half, turn to the right. I appreciate GPS because without it, I'd be wandering around lost forever. But doggone it, sometimes I want to hear a song play some music. I got to drive for 30 minutes. I don't want to listen to, 
maybe like bring the music down just a little bit and then tell me the direction. But instead of like cutting it off, telling me the direction and then cutting, Gabriel doesn't like it either. First world problems, everybody. Hashtag first world problems. Sarah was in the car, but now she's gone into Ulta to exchange something that she got that was the wrong thing. Gabriel's not happy about it, as you can see. Nope. He's currently distracted by those people. We're at Susie's house. We're a little early because it didn't make any sense to go home and unload the boy and then come back, so. Yeah. Ready to go see Aunt Susie and Papa? We don't live over there anymore. Night. We're back home, everybody. This crazy kid. He's already had a bath. Can I get your boogers out? Can I look at your nose? Oh, oh. I got it. <laughs> You're good. You're okay. Now he's. Detissuing that box. Yep, he got, you got them all? Good job, bud. <laughs> We're going to reuse those, though, okay? Mama's getting the, the room ready, so I'm going to close it up by myself. Me and this kid. It's a short video today, I think. I haven't watched the footage yet, but I think it's going to be short. Thank you all for watching it. Be sure to check out our partner channel, Growing Roots. They're an awesome family. They do a lot of fun stuff. They started a new series a couple weeks ago. That uh, video on Saturdays. Check them out. Link to their channel in the corner. This is the end. We'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Gabriel. Can you tell him bye? Bye. Bye.